and welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Hi guys, well, it's supper time here on the homestead and I'm thinking fried green tomatoes. Mr. Brown is fixing to go fishing. He's kind of wanting a burger. So, let's step outside the box a little bit and let's make him a fried green tomato burger. Don't that sound good? It's got to be. So anyways, let's get in the kitchen and let's get it thrown together real quick before he goes fishing. Maybe he'll catch us some fish to eat. What you want to do is you want to start out with a real pretty green tomato. And it don't matter what kind of tomato it is. And you can cut it as thick or as thin as you want. That's just up to you. I think since we're going to put them on a burger, I'm going to cut them uh, maybe about a fourth of an inch, maybe a little bit more. But I know I'm probably just going to eat some, not on a burger. And I don't like them real thick myself, and neither does Mr. Brown. So, y'all just cut them the thickness you like. And we're just going to place them out here on a paper towel. Now, I am going to uh, use a little bit of buttermilk, a little bit of self-rising flour, and a little bit of cornmeal on them. We'll do that in just a minute. Y'all ever watch that movie, Fried Green Tomatoes? I'm telling y'all, that is my number one favorite movie of all times. I just love it. I love all the actors and actresses on there. It was just my favorite. So, now we got our tomatoes sliced up, we are going to put a little bit of salt on them. Just regular salt, pink salt. I'm using sea salt. And I'm going to let them sit for about five minutes just like this. Let's let it draw some of that moisture out. Okay, while our tomatoes are sitting there doing their thing, we're going to make his burger up. He likes a pretty big burger. I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic powder and some pepper. You can add anything you like to your burger. Garlic, pepper, and salt is about what we like on a hamburger. And plus, I'm going to put, now you can put a little bit of onion powder in here too, but I'm going to be putting onion on it, so. So that's all the seasoning we're going to put on it, but I'm going to put a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in here. And I've got, uh, it's a little more than a fourth of a pound that I've got here, and it's going to make a pretty big burger, because I can usually get four burgers out of a pound of hamburger meat. You just want to mix that up good. Now usually, used to, Mr. Brown could eat two burgers, but we've kind of cut back here lately. We're going to use the iron griddle, cast iron griddle, I mean. And I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in there. I'm using fresh off the farm ground beef that we had processed, and it doesn't have as much uh, fat in it. So I just, sometimes I'll just put a little bit of oil in the pan when I'm frying it up. And it helps it a little bit, keeps it from sticking. So we're just going to put that on there. Let it get a good scald on one side. Let it get brown and crust up a little bit on that one side. And also, I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Also, I'm going to cut him a piece of onion. And I'm going to throw it on there, too. Let that be charring up with his burger. And while that's cooking, we're going to go back to our fried green tomatoes. 
Okay, I really don't have any measurement, but I've got, I'm just going to guess at a half a cup of self-rising flour and about a half a cup of cornmeal or self-rising cornmeal, whatever you've got. I'm going to put a little pepper and I put some salt in it. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of, of course, garlic powder because y'all know I put gar garlic in everything. Uh, you can add a little bit of onion powder, anything you want. You always... When I'm on here cooking, I'll just show you how I do it, but you can add to your taste is what I always say. And I didn't add too much salt because we already put a little bit of salt on the green tomatoes already just to get some of that moisture drawed out. And I've got my skillet over here and I got, I want to show y'all something. This, uh, this was sent to me out of uh, Seattle. It's a company called Hard Mill, and they're, they make stuff out of leather. And they sent these, this is a small one, and then they sent me a little larger size, and it's a handle for your cast iron skillets. And I just love them. For one thing, when I showed him Mr. Brown, all he wanted to do was smell them because he loves <laughs> the smell of leather. I think it brings it back to his times of riding a horse and the smell of a leather saddle but he loves them he said he really loved these so if y'all are interested i'll put a link below it's hardmill.com uh, and they do have uh, they do sell through amazon so i will put a link in there but i just love these cast iron uh, the handles for them they're, they're really neat so i'm just going to dab on here and i know that doing this i'm taking some of that salt off there too but i'm trying to get some of the moisture off it's my main thing. And we're going to get this going. I think my skillet, maybe my grease is starting to get a little bit hot. Let me test it and see. I'm going to get everything together here. And I did forget my buttermilk. I need to go get my buttermilk. Okay, I think it's time to flip his burger. We're just going to flip it over. It's got a good crust on the bottom. That's what we like. I'm going to flip this onion over. It's good and charred on that one side. So now while that's cooking, I think my grease is starting to get hot. So we're going to do the, the dredge dip dredge method. I'm just going to dredge it through the flour and cornmeal. And then we'll dredge it through... I mean, dip it in the buttermilk. Okay, now we're going to dip it. Get my buttermilk over there so y'all could see it. We're going to dip it in the buttermilk. And I know you're supposed to have a dry hand and a wet hand, but I'm using one hand. And just make sure you get it good and covered. And I'm just going to place it over here in my hot skillet. I've got about a fourth of an inch of uh, oil in there, and I use peanut oil to fry in. That's just what I prefer. That's what I use when I fry chicken or squash or anything. That's what I use anymore. I either use that or use um, my fresh lard that I render from, from hogs that we have processed. And I ain't had fried tom green tomatoes in a while so this is really exciting. But Mr. Brown, he's really going to love this fried green tomato burger. I mean, you want to take a burger and just bring it over the top. Just do something like fried green tomato on it. That crunchy green tomato on there. That is if you like fried green tomatoes. I know people say they don't like them. I can't imagine. But... I have family members that don't eat any kind of vegetables, and I can't imagine that either because I could live off veggies. As much as I love meat, I could live off vegetables, that's for sure. So I think I can get about four in there. I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't want to crowd them too much in there, so I'm going to fry it, get good and brown. Don't those look good, y'all? And I can tell you, this house is smelling pretty good. Fried green tomato burgers. OK, 
Okay, his burger is done. I have got some buns over here, and they are onion poppy seed buns that we're going to be using. But I'm going to put him some cheese on there, and I'm just going to kind of get them onions on there. And he usually likes pepper jack cheese, but I'm out. So we're using just regular yellow cheese. Okay, we're going to turn these things over. They are done. Ooh, looky there. Got a good scald on them. Good and brown, crunchy. I cannot wait. Yum. Gonna be so good. So I'm gonna take, well, I'm gonna turn my skillet off or turn it down or low anyways. And I'm gonna take, um, take these buns and I'm gonna toast them. Just kind of put them over there in a the skillet with the burger. And like I said, they're a, they're a onion poppy seed bun and they are really good buns. Just kind of put it over there a little bit in that burger grease and we're going to warm them and toast them up just like that. Now usually he likes a pepper jack, he likes a smoked cheddar, but we're kind of out of cheese like that so we're just going to have to use regular yellow cheese. But it'll be good. Okay, they are done. We're going to take them out. I'm going to put them over here on this rack let them just drain because if you put them on a paper towel or something like that, it does drain, but then it just soaks it right back up. So anytime you do fried squash or anything like that, putting them on a rack just works a lot better. And I am getting very excited about this fried green tomatoes because like I said I hadn't had any yet since last uh, probably last summer I guess so these are gonna be good okay so let's make Mr. Brown's burger now I know what Mr. Brown likes on his burger and first off it's mayonnaise so we're gonna smear some mayonnaise on it now, usually this time of year with fresh tomatoes, we would be eating a big old slice of juicy red tomato. But since we're having fried green tomato on it, I think we'll just leave the other off. Put a little bit of mustard. Now, sometimes he likes ketchup on his burger, but I think he'll be good today. We're gonna put a piece of lettuce. And you put up whatever you like on your burger. Of course, he's already got onion on there. I'm gonna put that beautiful fried green tomato on there. Now, he wants some pickles. So I'm thinking, um, I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna put the pickles on top because I don't want to put pickles on top of that fried green tomato in it make it all. I want it to still be crunchy, is what I'm trying to say. So, that is his burger. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, have mercy. Okay, there it is in all its beauty. This place mine, guys, and it's Larrapin. I hope y'all like these recipes, guys. Y'all gotta try it. So good. We love y'all. God bless, and y'all come back and see us. Fried green tomato hamburger. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Looks juicy. <laughs> of course it's good. So you give it a thumbs up? I give it a big thumbs up. <laughs>